Okay, so the next question that we have on the menu today is presenting a situation where we have four point charges, all with the same magnitude of charge um, of 2.5 times 10 to the negative 12 coulombs, are fixed to corners of a square that are 4.6 centimeters on each side. Okay, so let's actually draw the situation. at 4.6 centimeters and this is 0 0.0046 meters the same thing as uh, 4.6 centimeters it's uh that's actually not the same I got an extra zero in there my bad 0 0.046 centimeter uh, meters okay that's the same um, three of these charges are positive and one is negative. Hmm. Determine the magnitude of the net electric fields that exist at the center here. Okay, so if three of them are positive and one of them is negative, let's call this one the positive, this a positive, this a positive, and this a positive. And I'll actually change this, this one up here to be a negative so that it lines up with the diagram that we have down here. Okay, so because this little point in the middle is going to be like is perfectly in the middle we know that the forces here blue forces cancel out They are perfectly the same charge and the same distance away from each other. So if we were to incorporate them into the same calculation, it would be, um, you know, they, they would neutralize each other. One would, one would be positive and one would be negative. And, um, you know, they would perfectly be equal to each other. So the result of those net blue forces is zero. But, um, you know, if we have um, the green forces here, we can see that this would be going that way and this is also going that way right so the the positive is um like the convention is the direction of the force is what direction a hypothetical positive charge would be pushed beside a positive q is going to get away beside a negative q is going to get closer but since the magnitudes of the charge are going to be the same we know that green forces a uh, net green force are same um, net green force is double one green force okay cool so how we determine what the green force is we're gonna first need to do some trigonometry okay because right here you can see that this is going to be 0 0.026 no 23 meters and this is also going to be 0 0.023 meters just because it's like halfway uh for the square we're going to need the hypotenuse okay so the r in this case uh, or actually our net force our magnitude of our net force is going to be 2 times k uh q Uh, net electric field, all right. So my bad. So it's um, it's going to be field. Okay, so it's just going to be k two k q over um, r squared, and um, r squared or r on its own. Um, r squared is actually going to be the hypotenuse, so it's just going to be. 0 0.023 meters squared plus well 0 0.023 meters squared okay so we can just sub in our numbers and we can find our net force here so 2 k is coulomb's constant 9 times 10 to the 9 our charge is given as 2.5 times 10 to the negative 12 and r squared down here, well, it's just going to be 2 times uh, 0 0.23 squared. Zero point, 
0 0.023 meters squared. Okay, so uh, the twos cancel out, so it's going to simplify the math a little bit. So let's calculate this out. 9 times 10 to the power 9 times 2.5 times 10 to the power negative 12 all divided by <coughs> 0.023 squared. Should be electric field so it should be an e so the net electric field is going to be 42.53 newtons per coulomb okay that's going to be the magnitude hopefully we came to a similar conclusion here Um, most likely just going to be a rounding error here with the uh, with the calculation of R but um, yeah yeah uh, same ballpark so it's, it's most likely just a rounding error so yep the solution is good awesome awesome above solution is good good job